Hello, beautiful. Okay, so now we are ready to dress our candles. Okay, and dressing is the process in which you basically are anointing your candle with oils. Um, and you can also use herbs. And when you dress your candle, basically what you're doing is you're imprinting your intention into the candle. And that makes your spell much more powerful and effective. So there are a million conflicting methods on how to dress a candle, but the truth is you can't really do it wrong if you set your intention right, okay? So some like to you know, rub down from the, from the middle to the bottom, some rub from the bottom to the top. However you do it, um, again, you can't do it wrong if you set your intention correctly. So when you're doing something, like, like when I wanna bring something to me, I typically rub from the bottom to the top because I feel like that is drawing it to me. If I am anointing a candle and it is for a ritual that is getting rid of something, I rub from the bottom, from the top down because I want it to go away. Now, I will do this even with a jarred candle, okay? Um, I have, in the past, you can use a nail or a screw. Um, I've taken a wire hanger and had it cut so that I can produce holes, okay, that will go down. When I stick it in, it goes straight in, and I can anoint with oil by putting drops, literally drops, and even still, I use my finger. And on the inside, I coat the wick, and then again, I will rub the outside of this candle. Now, because this is glass, I will also um, do other things to the glass itself, but I will definitely uh, always put the oil on the outside as well as the inside. If it's a taper candle, again, I go up, you go in whatever direction and around in circles, whatever feeds uh, your intention is fine. So it doesn't really matter as long as while you're doing it, you're focusing on your goal and you're visualizing it while you're dressing an example. So if your goal is to draw more money, visualize gaining uh, prosperity as you're rubbing the candle, of course, okay? Um, and then there's certain oils. So it doesn't matter, like this is the money rain oil that you can um, get from a botanica or order online right? You can get your oils in a spray or you can mix them because sometimes when you have tapers, spraying like that is a little bit easier and then sort of uh, adding your rubbing mo motion to that. Sometimes they come in, I, of course I picked one I can't open. Okay, this one's probably the same dropper type. So you see that the little hole. So that being the case, I would put this on my finger and then I would rub the candle and coat the wick. 